Another common requirement is to take data that's all in one column and get it into its own columns. So Power Query can handle this very nicely. So we're going to put this into Power Query. So you'll see it's come through. It's come through as a single item. What we can see is it looks like there's a dash there. So all you do is you click on it and you'll see under Home is an item called Split Column. Your options are by delimiter or by number of characters. So this, I'm going to use a delimiter this time, the dash, when I say by delimiter. All it asks is what should it use. Now it has guessed that it's a dash. But you can click here and there's a whole bunch of different options. So the dash happens to be correct. Notice as well as you can choose what it must do. So must it do it at each occurrence of delimiter? So every time, so it must have one, two, three columns. Or is it just the leftmost delimiter? So must it just take that Joburg, these symbols here, put in one column and ignore the rest, just put everything into one? Or the rightmost delimiter? And this is actually very useful. You'll see how that gets used in the examples. So when I say OK, you'll see it does it. It does an extra step, so it split the column by delimiter, and then it actually changed the tops. So you may discover that actually this one here, which now has lost its leading zeros, is actually incorrect. So we may go back to that one, and we're actually going to say, no, that's not a number. Please change the top back to text. You can decide to replace it or add a new step, either one. I think we're going to add a new step. So now because of the way we did it, it actually has still lost the zero, zero ones. So we either need to go back, so I'm going to go get rid of those two, and then manually control it, or you could have gone, and remember from earlier, if you go to format, we can add a prefix. So that's one way of doing a split. I'm just going to close this and we'll discard it. What about this one here? So now it looks like the hashes or the delimiter. You can see they're not nice and regular like this one. That shouldn't be a problem though. Put it into table, power query, highlight it, tell it to split the column. Again, this one's definitely by delimiter because the, these lengths are inconsistent. It looks like Excel has correctly guessed that it's a hash, but again, it's always useful to make sure you're happy with that. Again, we want it at each occurrence. When I say OK, it runs through and puts it into its own data, and again, it guesses the tops. Just close that one down. Discard. And here we've got some bank account numbers. So at the moment, this is what we need the bank account number to look like. It looks like a space is going to be the delimiter. So let's go put it into our Power Query. Now you'll see immediately it's gone and said, oh, I think these are numbers. So that's horribly wrong. So first thing we're going to do, either convert it to text or just switch off this automatic change type. That's a bit better. Go to Home, Split Column. We're going to use a delimiter. And you'll see again it's guessed. It's found the space and said, I think it's a space. I think we're happy with that. When I say OK, you'll see it does it. Just notice again, because it sees two numbers, it assumes you wanted numbers. So immediately it converted it to numbers. And that's actually not great because you can see these are decimal numbers, but our bank account numbers have zeros in front of them. So we need to tell it, no, please don't change the top. And that's actually fine. We can leave it like that. Or you could then change it and purposely make, maybe that one should be a number and that one should be a text.